Hello everyone, a warm welcome to my channel. My name's Tom and I'm the content creator uh, behind TB Photoshop Tutorials where the aim of the channel is to teach you uh, Photoshop through sports graphic design. Uh, I've been using Photoshop for quite a few years now, all the way back from CS2 and I've been using it on and off and now 2021, here we are, um, I try and help people learn Photoshop and I've had a lot of positive comments in the last couple of years that I've been doing this channel. And recently on Instagram, I asked the question, what sort of content would you guys uh, like to see? And a few people asked for things like tips and tricks, where to get decent images from, fonts, etc. Asking questions where I, uh, where I learnt Photoshop. Now, I've been using Photoshop since CS2, on and off since around 2008. Um, not a professional by any means. I haven't studied it. Studied it. It's all self-taught. And this was in an age before uh, before YouTube really kicked off. And initially, I learned through a magazine called Photoshop Creative, I believe it was called, uh, where I'd learn a few things. I would uh, experiment. And it's only over the last few years where I've come to realise that a lot of YouTube channels, um, as good as they are, and there's some fantastic artwork out there. A lot of it's speed art, and um, it's hard to try and it's hard to try and learn when uh, people are not talking and it's a, it's a high beat music and it's just really speeding through it and you don't really get any benefit from it. So that's why I created the channel and it's had a lot of positive feedback. So without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it. So I've set up a few things and uh, we're going to talk about them. So the first thing is uh, images. Now, um, I've got a few websites uh, starting with pixabay.com and these are royalty free images. Okay, and these are thousands and thousands of images um, for you uh, to use royalty free uh, so there's no uh, no worry of copyright infringement so type in uh, type in grass for example okay search for the images or photos okay and then uh, you'll get different uh, different images that you can use in your tutorials and uh, I quite like that so I'll come back to that one I might see that one in a tutorial very soon um, yep so Pixabay is one Okay, and what I'll do is I'll link uh, in a description uh, down below. You don't have to, uh, I think you may have to join some of these, but it's entirely free. Just put your email in, create a password, and then you've uh, got some high quality resolution uh, images to use. Now, when you are uh, making images as well on Photoshop for sports edits, okay, um, by no means this is, uh, this is solid advice or anything, this is like legal advice, but it there is um, copyright infringements can sometimes uh, play a part. So um, again, if you, if you research into it, okay, it gets quite complicated. But if you want to play on the safe side, okay, the, these are the uh, resources that you want to look to. So pixabay.com is one. Okay, we've got Unsplash is another uh, that I uh, that I use frequently for my uh, fantasy art. Okay, um, lots of different images on there, and again, you just search in the bar what you might like. Uh, and again, have a have a good look around and a good search. And another one is pexels.com. Uh, again, royalty-free images that people have taken and have uploaded. Um, I believe I've seen that image before on a tutorial on, on another YouTube channel. Just looking at that, but um, yeah, another great uh, another great website. There's there's, uh, there's free images that are free websites there for you uh, for you to use for royalty-free images. Okay, you won't find any sports images, but you will find stuff for background images. Um, people have commented saying, um, "Oh, I, I can't find any images." These are the uh, these are the websites that you want to look through and you want to trawl through. Um, it does take a lot of time. Now, honourable mention to FootyRenders.com. So, if you're new to my channel and you want to know uh, where I'm getting a lot of the players from, okay, FootyRenders.com. I'm going to do a tutorial very soon on how to make your own render um, for lower league players. Okay, they do have a lot, so that look, they've got all the uh, all the uh, European leagues, America, a few other leagues, even Kazakhstan Premier League, um, all the way down to League Two. But again, there's not a great assortment when you get down to League One and Two. Um, so, what I'll do is I'm going to do a tutorial on how to create your own render, and uh, I'll have a look at uploading one as well, and uh, we'll see how we get on with that. So, if you are keen for that, hit that like button. And uh, let me know in the comments if that's something that you want to see. So, Footy Renders, uh, quite a popular website, and most people, most followers and subscribers will know about this one. Okay, and another thing that I'd like to mention is uh, is Google Images as well. So, um, 
When you want to search for an image, so we'll say we're going to look for uh, Jordan Henderson, just off the top of my head. So we'll click in there. Okay, and we want an image of him. Okay, we'll click on images. Uh, now, if you uh, if I select this image here, this Sky Sports image, okay, it's giving me quite a high resolution image there. Let's find another one. So 850 by 510. So that's no good. So we may we may want to use this image of uh, Jordan Henderson here. Okay, but the resolution is not very good. So how you can get around that, not many people know. If you go to your uh, settings here on Google and go to Advanced Search, okay, and you can just say change the image size. So click the size. Okay, I usually tick uh, tick this one. Uh, 1024 by 768 uh, or 2 million pixels I believe that is I'm not sure 2 m is pretty big okay uh, but I usually go for this one for uh, some of my edits okay you can choose colors as well um, there's all, all different sorts of options but if you just want a large images and click the advanced search okay and this is only going to give you images now that are higher than that resolution so there so we've got um, 1651 by 1100 uh, and again, another image there of Jordan, 1200 by 1200. So that's a way to get high resolution images. Um, again, I don't think uh, people are aware of that little tip and trick. So you might have picked something up straight away. So uh, now inspiration as well. So when I'm doing my tutorials, um, I do get a few people sending me uh, messages on Instagram. Uh, but I, I do have quite a few things lined up. And uh, it does uh, spark some interest in me. But the main... Uh, resources uh, or the main feed that I go to okay is Pinterest there's lots of fantastic things on Pinterest okay so uh, you can see uh, there's a few things popped up here so I've searched in the past Formula One graphics I've, obviously I look for a few Star Wars things okay and you can see uh, some workouts and stuff because how it works is it goes off your um, your cookies and, and your history there so uh, it was a fantastic one there of James Rodriguez so I'll potentially see this save it, um, create a board, save it, and then um, I'll look to make this image as a tutorial or, or something similar uh, to help people learn Photoshop. So again, uh, we'll just type in here, we'll type in football posters, not food porn, football posters. Okay, and there we go. All right, this is the uh, sort of content that you wanna look for. And you can see uh, you can see what people have been making. Um, and you can see there, there's a, there's a design that you might recognize from my uh, Timo Werner tutorial. Okay, I saw this and thought I'll create something similar. And um, yeah, there's lots of uh, fantastic art out there. Uh, okay, so you search for things like football posters, soccer posters, football edits, etc., etc. Uh, another one for, um, for inspiration, okay, uh, Divine Art. This is absolutely fantastic. It's more fantasy stuff, I would say. Okay, so I like, um, I've got fantasy manipulation tutorials. I've got a Instagram, uh, 13th Horizon, that I was going to, um, I want to do a lot of fantasy work this this year, but I've, uh, I've been busy and I've, I've really uh, knuckled down with uh, this channel, so uh, I've not been able to do too many. But if you go check out 13th Horizon, that's, uh, that's where my... Um, Fantasy art is going to be posted up on. Okay, and uh, again, you can search for images. You can search for inspiration. Um, See, so we've got some background images. But like I said, it's more fantasy stuff. Um, if that's what, if that's the way uh, you're inclined to um, to create, like Photoshop edits and stuff, not so much uh, sports edits. But again, there might be a few things, a few background images uh, in here that you might uh, that you might like. Uh, so yeah, absolutely fantastic. Uh, so next one, then I'm just going to talk about fonts. So um, I have a few fonts that I like. I think um, there's a Gotham one, and let's have a look. So uh, which uh, which fonts do I like? If I hit that text tool. So I like Gotham Black. So the, it's a nice, clean font. Okay, and uh, the fold. I can't pronounce it. Uh, the fold. Accidents. Grotesque. Uh, those those three fonts. They're what I like, and I like Road Rage. Um, some other good fonts that I like and the place to get them is uh, Fonts Geek uh, is one of them um, again you don't need to sign up or anything okay, you just download the files you can uh, search for anything that, that you like and my main go to one is dafont.com uh, that's mainly where I get my uh, my fonts from uh, when, I, when I am looking for a new font um, so the Fonts Geek and dafont there probably are others but they're the two main websites uh, that I use 
Um, so yeah, talking about uh, this sort of uh, resources then. So Brush Easy is a, uh, a website to get free, uh, free brushes. But simply all you do is download them as soon as they're in your, uh, your folder, uh, relocate with that folder that you want. Okay, just click it, a window will pop up, you click install, and then before, before you even know it, you can even think about it, it's, uh, it's in Photoshop and Word or, or Pages, whatever you're using. Okay, it'll be, uh, it'll be installed on your computer. So there's lots of uh, different brushes around there. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a great resource for brushes. So go check it out, have a look. Um, yeah, again, you don't need to uh, log in or sign up or anything, I believe. There are premium brushes that you might have to pay for, but there's a lot of uh, free content in there as well. Uh, so fantastic. So we've covered images, we've covered inspiration, we've covered fonts and brushes, and uh, places to help you learn Photoshop as well, because I'm not naive. I know you, you don't all just sit waiting for me uh, to uh, drop a new tutorial, okay? If you're, if you're really keen uh, to look around and learn, you'll be, uh, you'll be searching for other YouTube channels and other resources, okay? And a few of my favorites I've got lined up here. So Blue Lightning TV, this is one of the, the first... Uh, channels that I came across years ago when YouTube was really kicking in uh, and it's fantastic for learning um, I would say like novelty uh, novelty style tutorials uh, as you can see um, and you can always look at them and give them uh, some sort of um, some sort of sports twist if, uh, if you get creative but there's absolutely loads of tutorials on here by uh, this guy Marty it's absolutely fantastic um, yeah, nothing more needs to be said about this one, really. It's really simple uh, to follow along to. He, he's probably the best at explaining um, and how, how to follow along, uh, sort of thing, like monkey see, monkey do. Um, it's, it's very basic, very simple. Uh, and it gets you used to the program and gets you, uh, gets you used to uh, learning how to use it. Okay, the next channel then, so Blue Lightning TV is fantastic. Okay, it's PSD Box Official. Okay, this guy... Um, he helped me learn Photoshop or start to do manipulations about eight, nine years ago or seven or eight years ago. Um, he mainly focuses on premium content. However, there is a lot of uh, good free content out there, um, as you can see from uh, the length of the videos. Okay, some of them will be shorter because they'll, uh, they'll just be demos. Um, but there's absolutely uh, loads, of, uh, loads of good tutorials on here. Again, it's more like manipulation art. But again, it teaches you how to use the Photoshop and the program. So you may see something that you like and you think, yeah, I can put a sports twist on that. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a fantastic channel. Uh, it's been going quite a, quite a long time. So going all the way back. Yeah, this, this, is, a, this is a fantastic channel. This is where I, I learned the interface from. So if we keep going back, looking at eight, nine years ago. Yeah, it's a, it's a fantastic channel. I would uh, highly recommend it. Links in the description below. Uh, next one then, uh, Mir Rom. Okay, another fantastic channel. Uh, well, they're all fantastic, so I'll probably keep saying that. Um, but again, it's more fo uh, posters. Now, there's no uh, written, co uh, spoken content, sorry. It's all uh, just nice, gentle music, and it's just follow along nice and slow. Um, very basic. Uh, but it's it's absolutely lovely content. There's loads of stuff in there that you might want to try. Fantasy manipulations, and it'll really take up your gamer level. So don't just focus on sports edits. I, I would highly recommend trying something different, trying some fantasy art, because you may learn a technique by uh, following a tutorial like this and then adapt it and apply it to a, uh, a sports edit tutorial. So, um, yeah, Mir Ron, I would, uh, I would highly recommend checking uh, checking out some uh, some fantastic uh, some fantastic art. Okay, next one, Pix Imperfection. Um, I think it's one of the biggest uh, YouTube tutorial channels on YouTube. <laughs> it's absolutely uh, absolutely brilliant for for learning the program really in depth. Um, yeah, it covers absolutely everything. There's hundreds and hundreds of uh, hundreds of videos. Uh, very popular. You've, you've probably seen this one before. Uh, like I said, it's one of the biggest ones on YouTube. Um, absolutely fantastic work. Uh, so that's Pix Imperfection. Uh, then we've got CISO. Okay, uh, this type of content is more um, 
graphic design, stroke, text. Yeah, when you look at it, you'll, you'll see what it is. It, it mainly does tutorials on thumbnails, fonts, text effects, uh, all that sort of stuff, and it's it's absolutely it's absolutely fantastic. You just talk a little bit fast, so sometimes you have to go back and uh, watch it again, uh, or just uh, shuffle back. But there's absolutely loads of content on here for you to get stuck into, um, and learn and learn stuff, fonts, animations if you've got uh, After Effects and all that sort of stuff. So um, yeah, trying to uh, broaden your horizons again. Um, absolutely fantastic channel. So that's uh, CISO, and uh, I will uh, link in the description below. And Windy Studios, another one, uh, another sports similar uh, to mine. Um, fantastic channel uh, doing sports posters. So again, you might already have seen this before. Um, yeah, fantastic channel. Uh, loads of great content. Loads of different uh, ideas and inspirations for you uh, for you to learn from. Um, nothing really more to say about that. What I would say as well is. Um, Again, if you're looking for sort of content, again, okay, just search uh, Photoshop sports tutorial. Something as simple as that. That's probably how you found my channel. There you go. For <laughs> mine's got the four top uh, top videos. Yeah, happy days. Um, but again, there. Uh, okay, we've got another one. Sports Photoshop tutorials. I think it's mainly basketball sort of uh, content. Uh, but again, if you see uh, if you see these uh, these channels, okay, you don't necessarily just because it's basketball it doesn't necessarily mean oh I can't follow that tutorial. Um, just turn it into whatever team or whatever sport um, that you like. So uh, yeah, some uh, really good content out there for you to search for. And an honourable mention to my uh, subscriber pack, my fifteen hundred subscriber pack. Okay, there's lots of stuff in there as well if you've not seen it already. Um, yeah, I've got quite a few resources in there. So when people ask me for things like grass or skies um, for their edits, I do uh, do steer them uh, towards this. So if you would like, I'm fast approaching 7,000 sub subscribers. So if we can get to 10,000, I think I'll drop another absolute massive, um, a massive pack. So hopefully when I get to 10,000 subscribers, um, yeah, hopefully um, I'll drop another resource pack uh, for you all to, to get stuck into so that was uh, all I wanted to talk about today I hope there's a few things you've learned a few tips and tricks I've uh, waffled on for enough um, lots of content if there's any sort of uh, websites or tips or tricks that you the community that's uh, that's following uh, and learning from Photoshop please put them in the comments below for other people to look at and please do engage with other people so if there's a, a fonts website that you like Type it in the comments below so other people can see it. Uh, likewise with um, any sort of image resources or graphics packs, anything. If you put it in the comments below, people will see it and uh, they'll be able to interact and, uh, and share the love, so to speak. So thank you for watching. Uh, I've really enjoyed uh, explaining this. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit that like button, help the channel grow. And um, yeah, I'll see you in a tutorial very soon. Thanks for watching.